It's Beat Up Promo! <laughs> Yay! So I love your ability to just like uh, jump right in and be wild and crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably why we get along so well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Becca Shea. My name is Judah Hoover with the Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group. And Becca is going to be our speaker on July 25th, 7 o'clock at the um, Red Lion Hotel in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And we are here just to kind of do a little promotional video so that you can meet Becca and find out what she's going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about marketing yeah, and uh, something that you have perfected and have a team around. I'm serious, yeah. you have. Tell me why marketing is so important. Okay, well, a lot of businesses fail. Um, and I think it's because we get really passionate about something, we start doing it. Um, I've heard that businesses fail because of of either there's no passion, the product is crap, or the marketing sucks. Right. Because um, nobody knows who you are. So let's assume that you've got a good product and in your real estate world and that you're passionate about it. So now people need to know who you are to get right. a business. And you can spend a ton of money getting the word out there about who you are and what you do. We buy houses, we fix houses. Um, but you can also waste a lot of money doing Lose that. Lose a lot of money doing that. Yeah. And in fact, it makes like I was, I was telling you the story about how I hired this company to run a marketing campaign for me and they locked me into a six month contract, $6,000 a month, and I didn't get- $36,000. $36,000. I didn't get any contracts off of it. So instead I could have just saved my money <laughs> and I mean, done 10 well, ideally, deals less. Ideally, if you're getting $10,000 per wholesale, is that where you are? Yeah. 10, 15, 20,000, yeah. pick whatever your numbers are. Let's just say conservatively $10,000 as a professional wholesaler, you would want to do at least three or four just to recoup your money. Right, and then, then I pay my team. So right. actually I really have to do like five or six to break even. break even. So it would only be a successful marketing campaign if you did 10 or 11 or 12, yeah. and you would call that a success, but you got bumpkiss. Right. So essentially I was negative, not just the $36,000, but also all the, the money I had to pay my team to answer the phones to go, we didn't really get that many appointments. <laughs> so John Wanamaker, um, famous, uh, one of the first department store owners in uh, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. said, I know half of my marketing dollars are wasted, I just don't know which half it is. Yeah. Now, at the turn of this last century, um, that was an acceptable way to run a business. Right. That is no longer the case. I so mean, you, you just be a better business. Right. So you don't waste things. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you so you put together a better business without wasting because you track these different yeah. metrics. Right. And not just I spent this on it and I and I got this many deals, but also certain milestones along the way that you track. And so certain certain spending in dollars should lead to a certain amount of phone, phone calls, calls, a certain amount of appointments, appointments. Yep. and you and then, track each of those along the yeah, way. Yeah. So you can even see whether this campaign is going to be successful or not yeah. and, and how to steer it. Right. And then there's just some other tricks about marketing. I mean, like I'm at the point now where I help some very high level investors, you know, they're spending like 10 to $40,000 a month on marketing. Because this is from your, um, you were telling mastermind me about your mastermind group that you're a part of. Yep, so you were able to survey successful full-time pro real estate investors nationwide and you were able to ask yeah. them what's your ROI on bandit signs what's your ROI letters. on letters what's your ROI on all these different things paper clicks search engine optimization billboards so TV when we ads. say we're going to talk about marketing you're not just going to say here's how you market you're also going to be able to deliver real live data yeah. Q2 Q3 from 2019 what's actually mm -hmm. working today we're not, we're in Q3. We're in Q3 right now. I'll, I'll right. share my numbers and then the, we did, we worked with investors last year from the seven figure flipping group, really high level. They were spending like, I think like $3.7 million is what they had spent combined over the past 12 months. And we looked at all the different market channels and across the nation, where are you at? So I'm going to share some of that. And then I also want to talk to people who just maybe have like $500 or $1,000. Right. Because there's a whole bunch How of people who are just getting started and they're like, I don't have $40,000 to spend a month and that, that's going to blow. <laughs> right. Rack up those Sell credit cards. Card. Isn't that what isn't that what the gurus say? You know, rack up those credit, credit card. cards. No, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're we're interested in teaching people how to walk so we can teach people how to run, so we can teach people how to fly. Exactly. Right. And that's what we're gonna be talking about July twenty fifth. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting. As you can tell, um, Becca is an uh, exuberant wealth of knowledge and information, and her and I could talk all day, but this video has already gone way Marketing? too long. Please. Oh, no. Please RSVP and we'll see you there.